All right, hey there, everybody. Cody here. So I wanted to try just some silly stuff with the executioner. Um, most of this stuff isn't the best items in the game, but I thought it would be kind of fun to do like a try to do like a physical attack thing with them. So sparking tips. So we'll want to try to burn them with our main weapon, and then we'll want to get like like needles or ring blades, one of the physical um, extra attacks. So that way, when they get hit, they'll shoot out sparks. Um, same thing with this one. Whenever we damage an enemy with physical attacks, has a chance to do splash. I just took iron ring. I mean, we could. I don't know if our summons would count as physical damage. That actually. No, let's try that. Let's use this because maybe our summons can do it. Since they're imps, they only have physical attacks. Uh, Firewalker boots to try to burn enemies. Ruby circlet for more damage. Uh, collar of confidence. The only two collars I have are this one. And this one, so I'd rather just take the immediate um, damage boost. Where this one gets good, like when you're really low on health, it's probably better. And there's also no cap on it, but I think this one's just better right from the get go. And then a blood, blood soaked shirt. Jeez, that was a mouthful. So whenever we kill an enemy, it has a 3% chance of giving us health, which got buffed, right? It used to be one, which is pretty good. It was already really good before. Also, I don't think we've shown this yet, but the they added the credits down here. So that's pretty cool. If y'all are interested in any of that stuff, you can go ahead and pause it and read it. So I thought that was kind of cool. Still nothing down the stairs. As far as we can go. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's hop on in. Um, I think we'll do the third stage. Um, it's the hardest stage. It'll be the most challenging for my current build. And I guess we could increase our duration. Now let's increase our fire damage. We're the fire guy. And then on hit effect would be good too. But yeah, I just got this one. I don't know if I'm going to post the video. I was trying to do a thing with the warlock. And um, I don't. I feel like his summon damage is off or something. Okay, uh, what spell do we want to go for? At the top. I guess we'll just go top. We're already kind of heading that way. I think we just book it over there. I haven't played the Exterminator yet. This is actually my first time testing them out. When I did my gold farm stuff, I got a, a lot of gold with the Swordsman, and I just did like one run on the Swordsman, one run on the Archer, and just like racked it up. Dude, this is so cool. I love that they added this. 2%. And there's no cap on that either. Interesting. Yeah, let's just take Strength. And I just got auto attack on. We'll just we'll just moonwalk our way over there. No longer moonwalking. We're moonwalking again. But yeah, I think there might be something off with the warlock. Because there's a quest where we need to get um, summon damage. This is going to be really awkward if I end up uploading the video. Because y'all are going to see that video. And then I'm going to be talking about how weird it is again. But um, yeah, it's just on my brain. So that's just what I'm talking about. But it felt weird. It was... Because um, I feel like his... His main attack, he doesn't have any stats for his stuff other than like attack speed. So I would think it would be a summon since it's not listed there. But I'm, um, oh my god, the crust. But how are y'all here already? Don't y'all come later in the stage? Uh, I wonder if it's because I'm getting closer to the end of the bridge. So they're more worried about defending it? Interesting. Oh, jeez. Okay. Leveled up. Um. Probably just take attack speed, right? It's already super high on this guy, but it might as well be higher. I still haven't figured out what any of the quests are for this stage yet. Other than find the cupbearer, which I haven't been able to do yet. I wonder if I need to beat this stage with each character. That could be a thing. Okay, here's the book. Okay, so this one is Magic, Projectile, and Fragile. Needles is Physical, so that's what we want. And that's Aura, right? Yeah, Magic. Interesting. Transfiction is Magic. But Needles are not. I guess because they're literal needles. I figured Transfiction would be Physical. Okay, well, we'll do that. So if the Transfiction hits them... Yeah, see the little sparks? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, that was really lucky. Um, let's get... Mo this is going to sound really stupid. I'm going to take Movement Speed. Just so we can book it to the other spell before the um, the blocker dudes show up. Um, we could take crit chance. We don't have any crit chance right now, so 
at least gives us a chance, right? So that gives us, yeah, that gives us our 5%. It makes sense that he doesn't start with any because of how fast his um, attack speed is. That's interesting. I felt like before you couldn't see crit chance on him until you were like level 20 or 30. Interesting. Maybe it's range I'm thinking of. Have we seen range yet? We might have. I probably forgot if we did. Okay, so his stance is range. That's a pretty good one. I don't know what the other one is because I haven't played him in forever. But we shall see what the other one is. I kind of like to look at them until I remember what they are. Look at both of them. Range again. Dedication is health, which I don't care about. Man, attack speed? What's the other version? <sighs> I guess I'm just going to take critical damage. I want to see what... It's, it's the worst... Well, this is probably the worst one. It's probably worse than these two, but I want to see what the other ones are. Especially attack speed. I feel like this guy does not really need much more attack speed. Um... Interesting. So his is the default is 0.15. So it's point we the warlock run he his is weak region, so his is just point one. Duration of abilities and or summonings, but not effects. See, I don't know what that means. Exactly. Because there's no like power-ups or anything, you know? Um yeah, I'm just gonna do critical damage, I guess. Like, I would assume the duration isn't going to make the, like, needles have more range, you know? Oh, man, the I got a couple of the needle upgrades the other day when I was messing with them. Okay, so we saw the attack speed already. See, like, I think with his default attack speed and the quick hands attack speed, I don't think you need the, the that weapon one. I would like to see what the other one is. I think. He thinks I would. Look, boss, I'm not I'm not trying to ignore you. I'm just trying to get to the other stuff. So I think I'm gonna take movement speed again just because I want to get to the spell before it gets blocked off. And I'm not too worried about missing this experience because we are gonna run into this magnet down here. Oh hey the boss is back. And I love how detailed this bridge is. I'm not sure what side of the bridge I like more. I really like this side where you can see all the like the detail on the stone and stuff. But the other side, which we're going to walk over to, has the nice like, like green, I don't know, hell, fell um, energy vibes. Okay, so fire affinity is pretty good, right? That'll make our fire area bigger which is our attack which is our main attack we'll do five percent more damage with our main attack and our burn damage our burn chance goes up here's the thing though to get these spell upgrades you need to it's at least get them to level three from my understanding i just don't know if i care about a 0.2 base crit damage on it i'd rather get attack speed so i think i'm gonna do fire affinity first um I don't even know what other spell we would want, though. Like, getting Needle is, like, the best spell we could have hoped for. Like, it shoots really quickly. It can hit a lot of enemies. It's got good range. So it should help out a lot with the, um... The verbiage I'm looking for. It should help out a lot with, um... Triggering our... Our physical stuff. Hey, level up 500 times. Look at that. Okay, so it's either health or regeneration. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Uh, yeah, just take the damage, though. I guess ring blades is physical. That would be another good one. Ooh, attack speed? I'll take attack speed on the needles. We want them shooting out as quickly as possible to trigger our um, gloves and stuff. Oh, burn chance. I think that's what we want, right? Because of our... Is it this? Yeah, definitely. Because we need them to be burning for that and for sparking tips. I wonder if it would have been better to um, wear the ruby ring so we could get 
the um I'm just gonna take defense here, I think. I don't know what the other one is. I wanna see what the other I, I pray to god I haven't seen it. If I have, it's really embarrassing and I forgot. I mean I know I've seen it like in other videos, but I meant like in this video. But I'm sure someone will comment down below that I saw it at some point and wasn't paying attention. Just totally fine. I guess I just do defense. I don't know what duration does for us. Like that seems like it's very specifically for summons and stuff. Arcane Stars is the only thing I can think of where like it's not a range projectile that would care about duration. It not affecting the damage over time stuff is what was really surprising to me. I totally thought that would uh, those would go to get you think those would go together like I don't know peas and carrots or whatever the saying is. Give me that health. Okay, so we'll probably camp out by this spell book, try to level up a little bit. Burn chance main weapon. Ooh, multi attacks, piercing. Interesting. All interesting stuff. I think we just want burn chance though. Just to get our. Um, just to have our stuff really popping, you know? The one thing about attack speed, if you do get it up fast enough, you can sit here and just. Spin around. So there is that. For going for attack speed over burn chance, but I think with, uh, since we took all the burn stuff, well, that's kind of what we want to build towards. Man, the skeleton dudes here have a sweet Death anim. Well, I'm assuming they're skeletons. Not actually sure if that's what they are. Let's get to the spell. Let's get to the spell. The bosses will follow us down there. It's not a problem. Back here, punk. Okay, this guy still feels really strong. Um, yeah, just damage, strength, right? Again, I still don't know what channeling does, and the other ones are the the defensive stuff, which just feels awkward. Okay, one thing I would love is I wish I could hover over this and see what level it was because of the new upgrade stuff. But, um, lost my train of thought. Because I'm pretty sure we won't see an upgrade until it's at least level 3. I think that's the earliest I've seen it. Um, I guess I go pick up range. I, I want to see what the other stance is. Melee attack, how far projectiles the effect is relative and depends on the attack's base values. Yep. Yeah, let's just go long fingers here, I think. But it looks like, from what I can see is each spell has at least two, like, upgrades for it. Um, yeah, we'll do attack speed again. And I th and you can get multiple of them. I've gotten two on the same one before. But you have to, uh, you have to unlock them first, which is kind of cool. But I would like to get needles up to three. And I think the next one is after that attack speed. I think we just want attack speed on these. We just want to be flinging out needles as much as possible. But the two needle ones are really, like, really strong. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey, I can light his summons on fire. Why'd that one shoot the other way? Do you see that? Knock it off. Oh, ow. Okay... I like that I can aim and then also just let auto aim take over whenever I don't want to aim. That's a really nice, really nice touch. And then I always use, if there's an auto attack in these games, I always just use auto attack. It's just so much easier. So, okay, so it's damage versus range. I think we probably want range then. Um, I'm just going to take, I think I want the region, not the health. And maybe I want to do like one of each, like some health, some region. I don't know what his default region is. 
pretty low. So he starts with 0.1. So with the shrines, we're almost at one HP a second. Oh god, oh god, oh, oh, oh. there we go. Dodge, dodge, just stay in between them. Man, we are melting this guy. If this gets uploaded after the Warlock video, this fight dragged on for quite a while. I was trying to just do summon stuff, so I just was not, not doing any damage. But I think they're still trying to iron out a few of the, a few of the little, little kinks and stuff like that. What do we got here? <laughs> Critical damage, summon duration. I guess I just take this. I don't think this summon damage is doing anything. So I kinda don't wanna bring keep it around. I think. Okay, so we're at what, needle level two, right? Need to see an upgrade again for us to really know. Um yeah, fire affinity, I guess. Is good. I wonder, will it make the boot stuff bigger? I wonder. Like, will it make, as I get the fire affinity leveled up, will it make more flame boot stuff? Not more, but like, will it make the circle it leaves behind bigger? That'd be kind of cool. I think it's stationary though. Stagnant? Not sure what the right verbiage is. Okay, let's do that one. Just to get a little bit of extra health right now. Avoid the pink lines. I love the the enemy attack color being pink. I just really like I really like pink as a color, but like that neon pink is such a such like a nice eye catching color. Okay, I think I'm just going to take this because it's here. I don't really care about its crit ability or damage or whatever, but I just want it to be level 3. So I can try to level it up here. Did not get it. Okay, so dragon is fire, so we probably want that. I love that it says burn effect description. So this is... See, this says summoning on it. Yeah, see, I think some stuff is bugged. Because I definitely had the orbs on the um, the guy one time, and it did not work out. Magic, projectile, physical. Okay, so these are physical, though. These would work with our thing. I think we just do Dragon's Breath. Lame. Didn't see the upgrade for this one, though. Yeah, Dragon's Breath just for more fire, I think. Burn more enemies. Man, y'all have some health, huh? Okay, boss is here. And I'm still not sure if I should just be standing still just to get the more enemy spawn thing like before. I tried a couple times because I need to get Warlock and Cleric to level 100. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got both of them. So if the needles could still hit more enemies when the maximum range is reached, they'll deal their remaining damage as magic damage. Critical hits split needles into two new projectiles. Both new needles are as strong as the original. Increase the base damage by 15. I think we do phantom split because that's more stuff. Yeah, and that is also magic damage, which doesn't work with our physical stuff. So we definitely wouldn't mind. What's our piercing? 10. That's still pretty good piercing. But we might not, we definitely wouldn't mind getting a little more piercing for when there's more enemies. Dragon's Breath, more burn chance sounds good. Multi-hit is also good. But let's get burn chance. That's like our whole identity build that I, that was like the idea I had for this build. I wish the, I wish these two effects, like I can see them, but they're so small. But I don't know, I guess I don't want the game to be like an eyesore either. Mm, yeah, I'm a little conflicted on that. Just with all the flames and stuff, it's kind of hard to see. 
they're also like gray. It'd be cool if it had like its own like unique color. Like there's not a whole lot of blue stuff in here. Like a blue would be kind of cool. Like the blue that's around the well keeper would be nice. Just so it would stand out against all the other stuff that it's kind of clashing against. I don't know if that makes any sense. Nice. Okay. Um, I think I want to get some levels on Dragon's Breath and Phantom Needles before we take the before we take any more. Doesn't change the name. Okay. Be cool if you could hover over and it would like show you what upgrades and stuff you got. But I also like how clean it is too. So I don't know. There's a part of me that like is like loves data and stuff and then there's the other part of me that wants things to be aesthetically pleasing um so stance is finally here again the one we want um but i feel like more reach on dragon's breath would be better also i want to get it to level three so we can try to get the evolved form i don't know what the evolved form of dragon's breath is i don't know if i've really messed with it i know i took it on cleric a couple times to try to get burn damage up for her. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, Cleric seems pretty fun. She seems all about uh, the dot damage and, um, like, healing herself. Like, she gets a lot of a lot of health regen, which is really cool. I I'm glad that it's strong on at least, like, one character, you know? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I think we do multi-hit here. So every... Every 9 to 10 attacks we'll get one more projectile. I don't know how that works with him, with his gun. I don't know if it just shoots it, shoots two out instead of one. I know hard to tell with the uh, dragon's breath as well. Get back! I do find it funny that those that there's those flaming skulls and they can die with just from us hitting them. Ooh, so we do attack speed but we lose base damage or we can go more range. Oh. Burn chance is good. Again, I, I kind of want this. Piercing also. We wanted that for the needle like we talked about. I feel like attack speed though is, is just, yeah, right? Agony. It's not really the damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, now we can get two Dragon's Breaths as well. Very cool. Ah, F off, bro. Okay, so that was level three, right? For Dragon's Breath? Pretty sure it was. Let's see if we can get another one. Uh, let's get some range, I think. We're kind of healing. Dragon's Breath knocks back enemies. What? Okay, that's really good. Your magic, your magic. Yay. Sweet, dude. That's awesome. That's cool. I think that's the first knockback ability we have. I don't think we've seen any of the um, any sort of other abilities like that. Okay. Ross guy's here. It'd be funny if he took extra burn damage. Oh god. But then like, then those like flaming skull dudes, you know, that we just killed? Like those guys would take like no burn damage because they're already on fire. Yeah, these guys. It, it's very funny. It's just funny to me that they're like flaming skulls and we're just like, you know, we just make them more on fire and it takes them out. Oh god, I walked right into that. Like an idiot. Uh, more range on the main weapon? Damage is here. I think I want range, though. We keep we keep going back and forth on that one. At first, I didn't want it because I wanted to see what the other one was. Then we saw what the other one was, and we were like, yeah, we don't really want that one. I think we want burn chance, just again because of all of our 
burn items. That's the only rule I'm placing on myself. Restriction I'm placing on myself. Restriction's probably a better word to use for it. Uh, man, ooh, pickup range. More range on the main weapons, also good. Ooh, that's a toughie. I'm gonna do long fingers though, I think. I think that'll help us uh, level up faster. Yeah, see, look, we've got like a lot of enemies here and we're still only like getting up to in the 20% range at best. I wonder if I should just let the game shoot for me. I feel like the game the game knows. Oh, piercing's good for this as well. Uh, more damage is good too. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. But we can get the strength one almost any time it shows up. That's a really good needle ability for us. Just the one extra piercing on it for more splits and stuff. I don't think the with the new ability that we got for it, I don't think the splits can split though. Ooh, attack speed on Dragon's Breath, yeah. I think if you get if it's a spell that you want and it's it's one of the upgrades you want, I think you have to take that first over the uh, like general traits. Oh hey, we almost got up to thirty there on the uh, on the signet. Oh my god. Dude, why do I keep walking into that stuff? I guess let's just take the defense and health. Heal us up a little bit so we don't die to this guy. Ugh. And what is that sound effect? I feel like I've heard that I've I've, he I've heard that before. And something else, and I don't know what it is. The defense gross. Pickup range sounds great. Yep, yeah, yeah, knock it off. Ooh, dodge. Oh god, that's a lot of crossbow dudes that are coming out now. Might not be a bad idea to take the damage for our main weapon. Over range next time. Um, yeah, fire, fire area, fire damage, burn chance. That sounds great. Makes our dragon's breath bigger. Boosts the damage of two of our attacks. You know. Please die. Oh god, that's a lot of crossbows. Oh man, oh man, his spell goes off even when he's dead. What an ass. Um, I'm gonna just take the health here, just because I have none. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take that over the ring, cause I'd rather crit. Right, that's the increased critical damage. Dude, they bumped it up to ten. Dang, that's pretty good. It used to only be five. That's pretty pog. That's pretty nice though for the items to be. Like a better statted than the traits are, I think. I think that's more than fair. Um, I feel like I should take health again. I still don't know what channeling does. Like, will it make the dragon's breath go further? I'm just gonna take health. Play it safe. get that going while we try to get our healing from our chest. Okay. Additional flame walls, pog, and area coverage. That sounds great. Great damage. Yeah, I don't really care about that. And I do want attack speed, but that's like exactly what we want for that thing. A more frequent um, multi-hit and a bigger wave sounds insane. And I think I will take damage for the main weapon. Although, I don't know, the burn chance... I don't know, I feel like we just need a little bit more damage on the main attack, though. It's for some of these enemies. Like, they weren't just dying to our residual 
burn damage. I probably should just be standing still, though. I don't know, I feel like it hasn't been um, working as well as it used to for the how we hit how we hit a hundred on a few characters. It's also slightly boring to me. Because I'm having the game attack for me. I guess I could shoot myself, but I don't know, that's like the part I like the least. Oh. Oh dang, we almost got up to 30 again on the Damage bonus from the crown. Dang, did he actually run faster to get away from me? To try to get a better shot set up? It's kind of funny. Yeah, I think I need to test some stuff, but I think I'm going to stream the game on launch day. And maybe we'll try to do some level 100 stuff there. In case it is boring or whatever. Uh, yeah, pickup range sounds great. Okay, there's the wall. I don't hide inside the wall, bro. So I feel like something with the cupbearer is tied to this wall. No, oh, I can just walk through it. Ah, oh, interesting. Did I clear out that gap? Or is there that... I feel like I literally... How did I kill them that fast? Was that just from all the burn damage and stuff? That can't be right. Um, you're physical, right? Yeah, all right. Okay. One thing with the orbs, which is weird, is you kind of want to take physical movement speed. Not physical. Why did I say physical movement speed? That doesn't make any sense. Um, you kind of want to take movement speed, so that way you can, um, they move faster. The higher your movement speed is. You don't have to move or anything, it's just their attacks, attack speed, I guess, is factored that way. So these do seem like, for this build though, these were the three attacks I had in mind. I guess you could also use ring blades, those are physical. Ring blades is probably better than astronomer's orbs. Never feel like the orbs do enough. Um, range? I want. What is the other dedication? That only defense? That is interesting. It went health or regeneration for the first two, and then switched full on over to defense. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. God, they just have so much health. Um, more range sounds good. Do I want it on everything? Yeah, let's just do it on the main weapon. There's a potion, thank you. Ooh, nice. Was that two potions? It looked like that was two. Would love a magnet, though. We haven't seen a magnet in a while. Okay, Hydra's here. Never know how to fight this one. I think we want to, you want to just be just close enough to hit him, basically. That way you have a chance to let the skull, his two projectile attacks spread out, you know? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, I'm just going to take the flat damage upgrade. Although that is the the orb one that I normally want. Okay. 
What is hitting for so much? It's all something there just crit for like 700 damage. Oh, oh, geez. Can y'all like die? Ugh, this boss fight's so annoying. Back, punks. Yeah, I gotta say, for this map, you have to, uh... Definitely have to have a pretty solid build and strategy to actually beat it. I feel like on the first... Well, for the first few, once, once you get enough meta progression, it's like, okay, I can kind of just do whatever. Um... Gonna... Just take range, I guess? I don't know. Basically shooting almost to the edge of the screen now, it looks like. Oh my god, these ghosts only taking so much damage at a time is... the worst. Even with my, like, super high attack speed, I really gotta, like, focus on them. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, damn. Thought I could move out of the way. Oh my god. That was crazy. Um, yeah, attack speed on this sounds good. I really just want attack speed. Although damage on the needles is pretty nice because it'll split it up, but... The big wave with the knockback. Okay. It's a third of its health down. Probably should quit moving so much. I feel like I'm moving to try to not take damage and I end up taking more damage as a result. Oh god. Not like this. Alright, um... Yeah, damage on the needles sound good. Okay, we almost got him. Oh god, the crossbow dudes are back. Oh no, I'm dead. Right, we already used... Can we see where our revives are? I don't think so, right? Nah. <laughs> what are those, <laughs> those dudes are just over there? Chillin'. Ah, darn. Dang, is that just burn damage right there? That did more damage than our main weapon. Jeez, dang. Yeah, Dragon's Breath seems a lot better. I wonder if it factors in any of its burn damage. No, because it calculates it over here, right? Crazy. Yeah, see, this just didn't do that much. Where's the other... Where's the the gloves? The gloves don't show up here. That's interesting. Darn. Man, that stage is rough. This stage is so rough. Yeah, I don't I don't know if this is the stage to try to do. Well, I mean, I think it's whoa. It's a big gold bonus. But um oh, I wonder if it's cuz we got some quests done there. But um verbiage brain me brain no worky. Um I don't know. I like doing the the wackier builds on the harder stage, you know? Because if it works there, then, you know, it's kind of a legit strategy. But that was fun. Fun executioner 
run on the on the new build on the new build so um hope y'all enjoyed the video like it and comment all that good youtube stuff and i'll catch you in the next one